Welcome to the YD Inside, your place for the latest news and updates in BGCA's youth development department that you need to serve youth, develop your staff, and strengthen your clubs. I'm Kevin Forward, Director of Innovation and Adoption, and it's summertime. Summer is here and we have some exciting announcement and new summer programming. Stay tuned after these updates to learn something new with our digital platform. Now, let's start with getting you everything you need to serve youth and teens. My Future is hosting a summer short film festival contest. Summertime is such a vibe and we want members to show the vibe they plan to be on this summer. Members can record a one to two minute short film about their summer plans and upload the video on My Future for a chance to win a Pivo pod. BGCA will compile some of these shorts into a mini film festival, which will live exclusively on BGCA's National Virtual Club. Don't miss your chance to earn the all new Up Next badge on My Future. Check out the Up Next Career Accelerator badge on My Future today. While we're on the topic of digital programs, let's talk about the all new Career Launch on Club programs. Career Launch has been refreshed to support robust career exploration, skill development, and opportunities to apply job skills in real-world contexts. New sessions include topics on entrepreneurship, digital portfolios, and alignment with post-secondary education planning. You can learn about the all-new Career Launch Program in the upcoming webinar, Building Career Readiness Through the Summer Months. Learn more and find the link to register in the resources section below. Check out the Get Outside Challenge. Summer is here. Download the Outdoor Social Recreation Playbook and encourage your club members to embrace and explore the great outdoors. Not only will they have a blast, but your club will also have a chance to win one of 10 $500 awards for your club. Find out how to enter by scanning the QR code or checking out more information below in the resource section. And that's not all for the great outdoors. Join the Explore Your World, the Ultimate Journey webinar as we dive into the incredible world of environmental education and learn more about why and how to implement the Ultimate Journey curriculum at your club or youth center. It may be summer, but our monthly Workforce Wednesday series and eSports monthly staff calls go on. This month's Workforce Wednesday series will be held June 14th from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, and the eSports monthly staff call will be held on the third Thursday of the month at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Use the links below to register. Before we talk about some upcoming workshops and trainings, we have a special announcement. The Honor Awards has a new name and a new award. The Honor Awards has been renamed the Roxanne Spillett Honor Awards to honor the legacy of Roxanne Spillett. The award recognizes outstanding club achievements and exceptional program development. The application cycle begins June 1st and closes on July 14th. You can find information about this new prestigious award and the link to the awards application in the resources section below the video. Now let's talk about some upcoming workshops and trainings to strengthen club professionals. June is Pride Month and there are several opportunities to attend webinars to help you in your journey to become a more inclusive trauma-informed club. Get started with the basic principles of trauma-informed practice and how to apply them to club settings in the trauma-informed practices for YDP's training on June 1st 2023 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. June is Pride Month. Join the LGBTQ Youth Inclusion Training on June 15th, 2023 to learn LGBTQ plus terms and the need for inclusion within club setting. Learn how healthy relationships and self-love contribute to overall emotional and mental well-being. TI Specialist presents Health Relationships and Self-Love on June 22nd, 2023 from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Are you interested in leading youth development workshops? If so, register now for the next Methods Training of Trainers workshop in Phoenix, Arizona on August 1st through the 3rd, 2023. This intensive course will prepare you to lead the 10 Item Aligned Youth Works Methods Professional Development Workshops. Registration is open on SLU until Tuesday, July 11th, 2023, so register today. The monthly National Trainers Initiative, NTI, Virtual Tier 1 Training of Trainers will be held June 6th through 8th, 2023, and the bi-monthly 2023 Virtual Tier 2 Trainings of Trainers will be held June 20th through the 22nd, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. 
Learn more about eligibility requirements on the National Trainers Initiative homepage on bgca.net and register in Spillett University to attend. Now, let's talk about everything you need to strengthen your club. Want to learn about continuous quality improvement? The Introduction to Continuous Quality Improvement Live Virtual Workshop is the first step in beginning a CQI process at your club or organization. Join the live virtual workshop on Tuesday, June 27th to learn more. Continuous quality improvement includes improving program quality at your club. The Youth Program Quality Assessment, also known as YPQA, is the first step in improving program quality at your club. The next Program Quality Assessment Basics live virtual workshop will be held on June 21st and 22nd, 2023. Scan the QR codes to register or use the registration link in the resources section to join. You can also visit the CQI website to learn more. If you are unable to attend the live and structure-led CQI workshops, find instructions to videos and self-directed courses in the Everything You Need to Develop Your Staff resources section below this video. Now let's learn something new with Chanel Refuge and Lakeisha Lucky. Thank you for staying tuned. You just learned about some exciting updates and opportunities that we have available in the YD department, specifically on digital programs. So today I have with me Lakeisha Lucky, Director of Digital Product Management, who's here to talk with us a little bit more about our digital programs that are available at BGCA. Um, many of you ask questions and wonder the difference between club programs and my future and how do we use those tools. And so we're going to give um, Ms. Lucky a little bit of time to just share with us the difference between those programs and how you can utilize those um, for this summer and in the future. So thank you for joining me. Um, let's just start with talking just a little bit about what club programs and my future about those digital programs and what those are. Okay, awesome. So as you mentioned, those are our digital programs. Um, before club staff needed to wait to receive programming from us, especially to um, get it updated. But now with club programs, they're able to have all of those programming materials right at their fingertips. And the awesome part about it is the full experience down to groupers, to icebreakers, even with the options to customize the experience. Um, one of the examples that I like to use is the student teacher. So with club programs, that's kind of like the, the teacher's guide. Uh, that full experience, um, what it takes to fully run the whole program. My future offers the youth, the teens, that workbook side of it. That's how they're able to independently take that full experience further. So um, let's just pick one of those core programs. We'll say Ultimate Journey. Um, when a club staff runs that through club programs, my future offers the youth or team that opportunity to take that experience a little further independently or in a group. One of the things that I do want to mention, though, about my future is that there's a misconception that you can send a member there to sit down at a PC and click this to complete that. And that's not the case. Right. Um, if we stick with the same example of Ultimate Journey, and now you, you're encouraging your members to go to my future to explore on their own, or again, you know, you're facilitating that group activity. Um, it's a recipe. My future is a recipe for fun. That's where you go and you're able to take that experience and have fun with it um, from the perspective inside inside from a youth or, or from a teen, but it's not a sit here and answer question one or two. You go there and you're able to see almost 600 different activities with filters that support, with, um, support finding the perfect one. We have activities there for members as young as six and as old as 18. So it's not just for our younger youth and it's not just for teens, it's for everyone. And if and once you go there, a member and or a team can really almost have a customized experience because staff, they're able to say, hey, I have assigned this activity out to you mm -hmm. or I have this update and communication. Once you log on, you'll be able to see that communication. And just like with any workbook, 
um, the, the teacher needs to grade it. There's a staff side to my future where they're able to approve new members, upload members, track data. They can even get creative and customize data on my future. There's a slew of things, um, and I don't want to overwhelm you, but there is a difference. But the two programs, club programs, and my future, they work together very well. You have one that's for club staff to really be great at providing that experience for members. And then you can send them to my future for that independent experience and being able to say, hey, this is what Passport to Manhood is for me, or this is what Smart Girls is for me. And my future provides that opportunity. Well, that is a great overview. I love your examples. It really, although it's digital, it's an interactive experience. Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't just have a student sitting in front of a computer or it just really brings it to life um, so that they have that um, relationship so that they can maintain um, with their youth development leader that they're working with. And then also have the opportunity to sharpen their digital skills and pull some other programs that are more customized to that particular program or experience. So given all that you can do, and there's a lot that you can do with these programs, where would you have someone begin? If I wanted to start today, if I haven't really been as engaged and I really want to get started, what would be your recommendation on the first step to get started? Um, for security reasons, you need to log in through all of our platforms, through most of our platforms with your .NET account. So you want to go to mybgca.net, not bgca.net, but my, M-Y, bgca.net, and make sure that you have an account um, check your profile, make sure that the clubs that you're managing, those sites that you're managing is reflected there. Um, and then simply visit clubprograms.org or myfuture.net. Wonderful. Well, Akisha, I thank you for your time. I thank all of you who are watching um, to, for sticking around with us and learning a little bit more about our digital programs. And we look forward to um, speaking with you all again about more of our programs next month. We hope that you've enjoyed all we had to share today. For more information, scroll down to check out the resource list. Also, share with your colleagues and peers. And don't forget, you can always book a consult with the YD staff. Well, I'm Kevina Fullwood, and thank you for joining us again for the YD Insider.